All right, breaking news coming out. Things are getting real. It looks like uh, it's about to hit the fan. There's a lot of talks about potential uh, escalation, World War III war declarations coming out. And um, yeah, and the United States is responding to this. Iran is essentially coming out and ready to do some major attacks in the Middle East. And we're hearing that this will escalate very quickly. As a matter of fact, we just had a statement from President Joe Biden in regards to this. His response to Iran was simply, don't. Don't do it, because if we do this, it is going to escalate. The United States is going to get pulled into this. Um, and also, too, we're hearing that there have been attacks going on today, but they've been strategic attacks from what we're hearing. So I'm going to be sharing with you the latest on this, because this is likely going to be escalating here uh, very quickly. And this is all in response. This has been a, a dominoes effect, a series of events that have been unfolding over the past week as a result of the attacks that took place on the embassy, um, Israel attacking. Then we heard that Iran was going to be responding to this. Um, I've been sharing the video footage with you lately. And then also, too, now we're hearing that, you know, Joe Biden saying that they're expecting this to unfold. They're saying, please don't do it. Uh, don't do it. Do not attack. And Iran saying that they will be attacking and they will be holding Israel and the United States responsible for this. Uh, I shared with you the video footage over the course of the past week as they've been receiving several warnings. Uh, Iran essentially declaring that there will be retaliation against the United States. And now articles coming out today on this as they are saying, get ready. It's going to be sooner rather than later. And this is going to escalate likely into possibly they're saying an official war declaration. Um, so let me go ahead and get you caught up on this as to what's going on. Let me share with you the latest headlines and do me a favor. I see that we've got 505 people on with me. Hit the like button if you have not yet done so. Also hit subscribe to stay up to date. It's totally free. Why not? And also pinned in the comments for you is the newsletter, www.steveramnews.com to stay connected off of social media platforms as well. Um, keeping you up to speed on everything going on. Now, I've got the live updates as to what's been taking place here. So strategic uh, attacks have been taking place. Hezbollah fires dozens of missiles at Israel uh, at 7.26 p.m. It says that Hezbollah takes credit for missile strikes on Israel. Now, this is also on their time zone over there, so it's not even 7.26 p.m. here in the United States. 6.46 p.m., rockets, drones, shells fired from Lebanon. Iran could attack today with hundreds of drones and dozens of missiles. A warning comes out. Israel then attacks and ends the life of a son of Hamas and the West Bank leader, or one of the West Bank leaders. And Iran has enough enriched uranium for three nuclear bombs to be detonated. So these warnings coming out. Now, this article says that now, in addition to that, this is going to be giving the strategic layout of what it is that they're planning to do here. It says Hezbollah has fired a barrage of 40 rockets on southern Lebanon at Israel as the country braces for a major attack by Iran. So just to clarify, they're working in a coordinated effort to hit Israel. So out the, throughout the course of the day, there have been rocket attacks, at least 40, that have come from southern Lebanon at Israel. It says some experts are suggesting that these attacks, which do not cause any injuries or damage, was an attempt to deplete Israel's supply of surface-to-air missiles before Tehran launches a large strike in retaliation for last week's airstrike on its consulate in Damascus. So what they are doing at this time is they are launching missiles at Israel, an attempt for them to try to stop it and deplete their resources by which they would stop a missile attack. So right now, all of this is for them to use up their resources of defense. So that way, when they're prepared for the major attack that they're saying is going to be coming, Israel will not have enough defenses ready to stop what they're going to be sending their way. So this is actually strategic. They are launching these in an effort from various different locations, different groups to try to wear down their defenses. So that way, when they hit them with the major attack, they're saying that is on the way. Israel will be defenseless. Videos online showed Israel's Iron Dome defense kicking in. It was in action throughout the night skies above. Residents could see this in northern Galilee. An Israel defense force, an IDF spokesperson, said that it had intercepted some of the Katyusha missiles uh, and that no injuries had been reported. But again, they're not trying to do damage, they're saying, with this. They believe, they believe that this is simply to wear down defenses. The Lebanese-based Iranian proxy group claimed that it was targeting Israel Israeli artillery positions. Earlier today, air defenses intercepted two Hezbollah bomb drones 
while several shells were fired from Lebanon without causing any casualties, according to the IDF. IDF forces opened fire to eliminate the threat in several areas of southern Lebanon, he added. Hezbollah has exchanged nearly near daily cross-border fire with Israel since its ally Hamas, the Palestinian group, massacred hundreds of Israeli civilians in the October 7th attacks. So that was an up-to-date uh, um, uh, live update key moments that have been coming out. Now, this just coming out here in the past hour, more updates coming out on this. This coming out uh, just in the last hour, within less than an hour. It is reported now that Iran is preparing 100 cruise missiles for a strike on Israel. And we'd also heard that there are also three potential nuclear weapons that could be detonated and used. We're hearing likely for an EMP to try to take out uh, th there's talks about EMPs to take out, and that's an electric magnetic pulse, all electronic devices and try to take down defenses and disrupt communications. These are the warnings that we've been hearing about for the United States as well. Um, warnings coming for other nations from the FBI. And also we heard from the FBI yesterday. If you missed that video, I did an update. You're going to want to check it out right after this as it seems right now things are beginning to escalate. Now, this article coming out within just the past hour says Iran preps 100 cruise missiles for a strike on Israel. Amid escalating tensions with Israel, Iran has readied as many as 100 cruise missiles for a possible strike against the Jewish state. Israel has been on high alert amid Iran's vow to attack Israeli targets in retaliation for the April 1st airstrike on its diplomatic facility in Damascus that ended the life of at least seven members of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, including two of their top generals. Iran blames the attack on Israel, which has not claimed responsibility. Two U.S. officials told ABC News on Friday that Iran has readied more than 100 cruise missiles for a possible strike. Another official said Iran has readied a sizable number of drones that could be used in an attack on Israel. The officials told ABC News that Iran has been readying the missiles and drones over the past week ever since the attack took place. Now listen to this. President Joe Biden told reporters on Friday, that's today, that he expects an Iranian strike on Israel to occur sooner than later. And he had this message to Iran. Biden said, don't. He asked, asked by ABC News if the U.S. would respond. Biden said, we are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. So Biden making it very clear that if this war escalates, the United States will step in and will support Israel. So this could escalate very quickly and pull in a lot of individuals. They're saying that right now, the point we're at, Iran is saying that there is going to be a major retaliation. They will hold Israel accountable for the attacks that took place. And also they hold the United States accountable as well for being their ally. And Biden supporting Israel, saying that if you attack Israel, we will be by their side. So a lot of people saying this could be an escalation. This could be the warning. We are on high red alert right now for potential war escalating here very quickly. Now, also, ABC News, this is coming out. There are live updates coming out with these warnings that have been coming through right now, because as you know, this has unfolded over the course of the past week. Uh, they've been trying to de-escalate the tensions. Iran not stepping down. And then this coming out today uh, with the latest updates that they have been uh, sending missiles to Israel to try to bring down their defenses. And now we're getting information that there are over 100 cruise missiles that are ready to launch a massive major attack and that all these attacks that have been taking place have simply been to wear down the defenses of Israel, strategically planning to hit them with a much significantly larger attack. It says Israel Gaza live updates. Iran readies 100 cruise missiles for possible Israeli strike, the U.S. says. This also coming out just a couple hours ago. Iran has been readying missiles over the last week, U.S. officials say. An Israeli attack in Gaza on a convoy of aid workers from World Central Kitchen, the relief organization providing desperately needed food to Palestinians, has, genera has generated outage from the group's founder, celebrity chef, uh, Jose Andreas, uh, condemnation from around the world. Israel had apologized for the strikes, which ended the lives of seven members of the group on April 1st. I'm not really sure what that first paragraph is doing in there. I think it's from another article. Sorry about that. Israel has apologized for the strikes, which ended the lives of seven members of the group on April 1st, saying it was an accident in the fog of war. They have promised a thorough investigation of the incident, which Ande said was deliberate. 
Six months after the group invaded Israel on October 7th, the Israeli military continues its bombardment of the neighboring Gaza Strip. About 1,200 people have lost their lives in the initial attacks that took place, according to Israeli officials. Now it says Biden's message to Iran on the possible strike on Israel And this just came out earlier today. President Joe Biden told reporters that he expects Iranian strikes on Israel to occur sooner than later, asked for a message for Iran in this moment, and Biden was blunt and said simply, don't. Asked by ABC News if the U.S. would respond, he said, we are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. Now, Iran has readied over 100 cruise missiles, and we're working our way backwards through these live updates. Earlier today as well, it has been reported Iran has 100 cruise missiles for possible strikes on Israel, U.S. officials say. U.S. officials continue to see indicators that Iran could be ready to attack Israel with missiles and drone strikes very soon. Iran has readied a large number of missiles for a possible strike, according to three U.S. officials. Two of the officials said that Iran has readied more than 100 cruise missiles for a possible strike. Iran has also readied a sizable number of drones that could be used in an attack on Israel, according to one official. The official said that Iran has been readying the missiles and drones over the course of the last week. So things are intensifying. We're receiving word that this could be very soon. And I've got updates here from ABC News. I've also got updates from Newsmax and also another one from The Telegraph. And there are several articles starting to come up with this as the updates are rolling in that it looks like it's about to go down. It looks like Iran very soon here is going to be striking Israel with a major attack. The missiles that they've been attacking them with, with the barrage over the past 24 hours or so over the border, they're saying that that has just been simply to bring down Israel's defenses, but a major attack is going to be coming here very soon. It looks like it's going to be unfolding. And let me know your thoughts. Are we about to enter into World War III? Uh, and the response from Biden was, don't do it. Don't. And if you do this, Iran, he said, we will be supporting Israel. We will be by their side. You will not be successful. Sounds like very Uh, aggressive response from President Joe Biden, letting Iran know very clearly, very bluntly uh, where the United States stands on this. So let me know your thoughts. Are we about to enter into World War III or do you think that no? But right now we're hearing that this could escalate very quickly. If you believe we're about to enter into World War III, put a three in the comments. If you think we're going to be able to avoid it, put a four Uh, Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But right now, tensions increasing. Iran is saying that they will hold Israel and the United States accountable. And I'm starting to see the threes rolling in. I'm seeing a couple of fours, people optimistic that we're going to be able to avoid escalating the tensions here. Um, But it looks like, uh, yeah, and great, great point here I see from Laura Lee. Lee. She's saying, aren't we already in war? A lot of people saying World War III already started a while back. It's just that it has not been officially announced, but this could be the thing that could officially announce it here. Um, We will see if the United States gets pulled in against Iran. Keep in mind that Iran, Russia, China, allies as well, will they come to the side of Iran? We've actually heard that a lot of the missiles that have been used uh, in the wars that have been taking place have come from those three. Uh, China, Iran, Russia, uh, North Korea, they're all uh, allies together, um, the United States defending their enemies, uh, essentially Ukraine, Taiwan, Israel. So we will see what's going to be unfolding here. But uh, they're saying that things are escalating here very quickly. And we could essentially be looking at a escalation into an all out official war. There could be an announcement that could pull in the United States as well. Um, so we will see right now, the United States very careful about their involvement in a lot of these, but we're spread across several different wars right now, Russia, Ukraine, um, Israel and, uh, Hamas and all of the other groups now, and now pretty much, uh, Iran as well. And then we've also received warnings that China is planning their attack against Taiwan. The United States saying that they will stand and support Taiwan. China saying, just know that when we hit Taiwan, We're going to hit the United States as well. And then we've already been infiltrating uh, infrastructure systems. We have cyber attacks ready to go on various systems against the United States. So things escalating here very quickly. So just wanted to hop on and let you guys know this. This is happening right now. Like this is live. 
April the 12th, 2024. It is 7.33 p.m. Central Standard Time. And they're saying that just today, things have escalated very quickly. And when these attacks happen, when Iran hits Israel with these big attacks, uh, the, the response from the United States is don't. Don't do it because we're not backing down. We're going to be supporting Israel. So it looks like this could intensify here very quickly. Uh, I see Janine Williams saying 100%. Pray for peace. I don't like war, says Judas Sweet. Um, yes, if you're a praying individual, now would be a time to pray, as they're saying that it's pretty much going down right now. Red alert, potential World War III warnings, potentially pulling in escalation of what is going on right now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, don't fear, be prepared. Knowledge is power. God has us. Uh, God has us, says Diva Moms. Amen to that. Uh, let's see here. Well, you really know how to spread all this really quickly, says Patrick 24M. You know, Patrick, I just try to stay on top of everything that's going on. These are all the live updates. This is the live feed that's taking place. And today it just has escalated significantly. So just, uh, uh, trying to make sure that people know exactly what's going on. So we're going to be seeing what takes place. And this all just coming out in the last 24 hours. So this has been unfolding over the past week or so. Now today, it's escalated very quickly. Um, and those, as I mentioned, Hezbollah has been firing a barrage of missiles over the course of the last 24 hours or so over the border into Israel. And they said that this was not an attack. There was not really any damage done. They said they didn't understand. Well, the purpose of it was to wear down their defenses so that way they would not be able to defend themselves when they prepare for the major strike that is on the way. They're saying Iran is readying over 100 uh, cruise missiles ready to attack Israel. And they're saying it's going to be a major strike that is coming. Biden asked today, said he believes from what he is hearing, it's going to be sooner rather than later. So if you're expecting that there's going to be a major war exploding here, Biden's saying it's sooner rather than later. Um, and his response was don't because the U.S. will stand by the side of Israel. So make no mistake, we will play a major part in this. There's going to be more of our resources, uh, maybe even who knows deployment. We might officially declare war as well. Um, and as somebody said so perfectly, we're already basically in war, just has not been officially announced. Um, so we will see. Um, yeah. And somebody's saying Biden's response was just don't. That's all he said. He's, they said, do you have a word to Iran right now about what they're prepared to do? And he said, don't. That was all that he had to say on it. And he just said, we will stand with Israel. Very blunt, very straightforward on this. Um, and I see, wow, we've got 100 and 1,479 people on. Do me a favor, please hit the like button. If I could get half of the room to hit the like button, if you haven't done so yet, if I could get that over to 700 likes, that would help out the channel. Just spreads this out if you appreciate the updates. Also, subscribe to stay up to date. It's totally free. I'll let you know everything going on. Um, as you guys know, this has been unfolding over the course of the past week. As I mentioned, we received high alert warnings from the FBI for attacks on U.S. soil. Um, they're saying that there are groups that want to issue attacks right now, similar to what we saw in Moscow. This coming out from FBI Director Ray in the past 72 hours. In addition to that, we had heard warnings that Iran had declared that there would be retaliation. I did a video on that six days ago. And then also yesterday, we heard from the FBI as they were saying that they need massive amounts of new funding. They said, we need funding uh, to be able to continue to do our work to keep the American people safe. And man, if you missed it, Mike Garcia, you're going to want to check it out right after this. He ripped him apart. He savagely rejected his call, said, I find your requests for more funding for the FBI suspect. And he was like, because it is not your job just to warn us about threats. But what are you actually doing to stop and mitigate the threats and protect the American people? He said, all you're doing is causing all of this alarm. You're saying red alert. There are signs everywhere. But what are you actually doing about it to keep the American people safe? And he said, your number one priority right now should be to keep the southern border safe and stop allowing people to pour in that want to do harm to the American people. You have done nothing about it. And he said, and you have also failed at your job in convincing the current administration that you work for 
to go ahead and do something about it as well. Very, very blunt, very vocal about his disapproval, telling him that he is doing a terrible job, that he is inadequate to do so. And he just outright said, I don't trust you. And he said, and now you're asking us for more money. He said, I find that very suspect was the words. So man, if you missed it, check it out. I uploaded that four hours ago. It's on my channel in the video section. There's a picture of me and FBI Director Ray. It says, watch FBI get blasted in Congress. And it says, we do not trust you. Some pretty intense moments in Congress uh, with FBI Director Ray in the last 24 hours. And like I said, we've actually been hearing warnings over and over from the FBI Director about what's going to be coming with the escalation of war. And now this coming out that they're saying, uh, Biden saying, don't is his message to Iran because we will defend Israel. Some pretty intense stuff. And let me know your thoughts. Uh, comment in, in the comments for me. Do you agree with Mike Garcia that the FBI is not doing enough? Do you feel like he is doing his job? Is the FBI doing a good job of keeping America safe? If you believe so, put yes. If you believe no, put no. Gary Schreiber, uh, Shreeb, Gary Shreeb, thank you so much for that $10 super chat. I appreciate it a ton. Um, do you think, so the question is, do you think that the FBI is doing their job? Um, if you believe yes, and they should get more funding, put yes. If you believe no, they're not doing a good job and they should not get more funding, put no. Let me know what you think about the FBI. If you agree with Mike Garcia tearing them up, man, you, if you missed it, you got to check it out. Actually, maybe I'll put a link to it. Uh, and you know, just check it out after this. Cause I don't want people to leave the live stream to go watch it right now. You can watch it right after this. <clears throat> people are saying, no, they don't think that the FBI director and the FBI is doing a great job. They are warning us left and right. And then they're asking for more money to go ahead and to do their job. But what are they doing right now at this time to stop it? And it seems like I see somebody mentioning China. Yes, we're hearing that Volt Typhoon is the, the group that is infiltrating these security systems, infiltrating our infrastructure systems that are essentially saying they're going to be doing all of this harm to the United States uh, what are they doing to stop it? We're hearing China is essentially laughing at us. China letting us know we infiltrated your systems. We have them compromised at the click of a button. We could go ahead and shut down your water, your electrical grids, your airports, your communications. We could do all of this to you. We're just simply not doing it at this time because we're only going to do it if necessary. If we decide to attack Taiwan, which we will when we do it. Then if you decide to intervene and come to the side of Taiwan, we're going to hit you and we're going to hit all the people of the United States. What is the FBI doing about this? Literally being told to our face threats that we've been compromised. What are they doing? Maybe they're doing something about it and they're just not making it known to the public. Maybe they're keeping it secret. But at this time, the way it feels in the eyes of the American people is like they are not doing enough. I can see all the no's coming in of people saying, no, you're not doing enough. We don't feel safe. And the biggest issue, of course, as I mentioned, as Mike Garcia said, is the southern border wide open. We're having all these potential threats of attacks here on our soil, not in the Middle East, but here in the United States. They're saying there could be a repeat of what we saw in Moscow, uh, and it could be here in the U.S. Uh, yet, Mike Garcia is saying your number one priority should be making safe the southern border, not allowing these crossings. And he's saying this current administration just allowing people to pour in uh, he said, you requesting more funds when you're already not doing your job, suspect. And then also, in addition to that, things now escalating with the news coming out today of Hezbollah firing dozens of missiles on Israel and this in preparation for a major strike that's going to be coming from Iran. So uh, things intensifying here for sure. So red alert, uh, potential World War Three, potential all out war. And Israel is going to be attacked by Iran. United States, Biden warning, don't do it. Do not do it. Uh, so let's see here. I thought he said don't before or something, says Michelle. No, this coming out today, Michelle. So this coming out today, uh, he was saying that he didn't want that. That was his response today. Um, and there's, and he also said he believes that something is going to happen. But he's saying don't do it. He's trying to de-escalate things before it pops off. Uh, but it looks like it's about to go down here very soon. Uh, Crusader says World War III, rather. Anita says Trump 2024. Yeah, hey, let me know your thoughts in the comments. 
Uh, do me a favor, hit the like button for me very quickly, and then put in the comments 45 if you think Trump would do a better job of handling everything going on, or if you think it's Biden's doing a better job, put 46, or if you think somebody else put a 47. Let me know your thoughts. I see Anita Nelson, though, putting Trump 2024. <clears throat> I see Jay, Donna, Lorley, uh, Linda, Adam, Steve, Joanne, David, David, Halo, Christian. All Oh, no, Christian doing 46. All the other ones I named for 45s. 45s pouring in. Yeah, do me a favor. Hit that like button, too, if you haven't done so yet. I see we've got almost uh, we've got 1,443 people in the room. After you put in your comment, Hit that like button for me if you appreciate the updates and the latest going on as we're hearing things are escalating here very quickly. I see Mitchell, Michelle are going Trump 2024. Uh, Ivy, Eric, Sheila, Janine, David, everyone for Trump, it looks like. Uh, Joanne, you know, and it just seems like a lot of people are just very over what the current administration has been doing. I'm hearing that he has one of the lowest approval ratings we have seen so far. Um and just people are saying it's going to be Trump. We will see. I see a lot of these pouring in right now uh, saying Trump 2024. I see uh, Andrew saying Jesus 2024. Uh, Patty Tatum saying 45. Let's be real. Do this. STFU says sky blue. Yeah, it looks like it's about to go down. We will see. Now, I'll keep you guys up to date every step of the way on everything that's going on. Um, and again, do me a favor. If I can get like 30 more people to hit the like button, we can get that up to 800. I would appreciate it. Uh, also too, like I said, we will see. It looks like there's going to be a major attack coming from Iran here very soon. Uh, Dennis Clark, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. He says, we are in troubling times. God bless our souls. Biden is a coward. We need God now. Never mind Trump. Biblical times, says Dennis Clark. Yes, Dennis, it definitely feels that way. Biblical times. Uh, we will see what's going to be unfolding. I will keep you guys up to date every, I will keep you guys up to date every step of the way. Red Dead Rasta says, Steve Ram is the man. Enjoy watching your content best on YouTube 100. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that a ton. I'll just continue to do my best to get the latest updates and let you guys know what's going on. Darth Vader 2000 says, stay safe, Steve Ram and everyone. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate that. Um, yes, everyone, if you're a praying individual, pray for our nation, pray for everything going on in the Middle East and with all the wars taking place, pray for our people. And we need to be here for one another because, you know, it just it doesn't seem like, you know, I see all these people saying we can't trust the FBI. The government's not here for us. What are we going to do? We got to be here for one another. We're not going to be scared. We're going to be prepared. We're going to make sure that we are helping each other however we can. I will continue to get you guys information uh, Kehana Beach Cottage, thank you for the $5 super chat. I appreciate that a ton. Thank you so much. Um, I see Patty saying Trump all day long. Amen. We are definitely in biblical times, says Kimberly Rodon. Uh, Eileen says Trump, Trump, Trump. Uh, Waqar Aslam says not the United States. Uh, Blue Dolls has Israeli flags. Uh, say something, see something, say something, says Robert Pacheco. Yes, if you see something, say something. They're saying be vigilant, be aware that we are in troubling times right now here in the United States with the potential threats of attacks. So please, if you see something, say something. NJ Korjimom, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. You are awesome. I appreciate that support. Uh, Diva's mama says, have four kids in the military. They want Trump. Uh, hey, Divas Mama, thank you so much for your family's service to this nation. Uh, God bless you and your children. Thank you for that. Uh, Red Dead Rasta says, better than those other channels, Steve Ram. At least you come across positive when explaining everything. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I'll continue to just do my best to keep you guys up to date. Just let you know what's going on. I think regardless of what it is, some people say, Steve, you've only got bad news. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't judge the news. I don't, you know, hold back based upon whether it's good or bad. I just give the news and we need to know what's going on. Uh, David Ray, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. You're awesome. I appreciate that a ton. Adam says, Steve, what did I miss? Just got home. Adam, it is going down today. Uh, it looks like things are intensifying very quickly. People are saying STFU uh, or something like that or STUF. Um, 
S H T F or something like that. I don't know uh, the acronym they're saying, but anyways, it's intensifying. So this is what's going on. For those of you hopping on a little bit late, throughout the course of the last 24 hours or so, Hezbollah has been firing a barrage of missiles against Israel. It did very little damage, but they're saying the reason why is that this was a strategic attack on behalf of Hezbollah to wear down the missile defenses of Israel because there is now word coming in that Iran is planning a massive attack against Israel um, that is going to take place here very soon. And now reports coming in that this massive attack that Iran has now prepared over 100 cruise missiles for a strike on Israel, uh, that is going to be coming now that they've worn down their defenses. And they're saying that this is going to be a massive strike they're planning that's going to be sooner rather than later. Now, today, Friday, they asked President Joe Biden uh, what he expects is going to be taking place. What is his response as a result of what's happening with Iran, and he said, don't. But he said he does believe the attack will happen sooner rather than later. When he was asked by ABC News if the United States would respond, Biden said, we are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will help defend Israel, and Iran will not succeed. And they're saying that we are one step away from all-out war. Um, Iran saying, as a result of the, the hit that took place in Damascus, um, and the loss of the lives of their um, top officials, that they would hold Israel accountable. They would also hold the United States accountable. So Biden saying, don't do it, Iran, because if you do it, it is going to escalate. It is going to escalate. We could be announcing official war. Some people saying World War Three official announcement. A lot of people saying we're already in war. We're already officially in World War Three. And if Israel goes to war uh, it, with Iran, they're saying the United States will get pulled into war. U.S. goes to war with Iran. We're probably one step away from China, maybe Russia, North Korea. It could be all out World War III. It could be a dominoes effect. So that is the major concern, Adam, with what is taking place right now. <clears throat> and like I said, these news articles coming out, I've got live updates pulled up. This is coming out from ABC. Uh, I've got another one from Newsmax. Uh, and another one here from the Times, all of these and the Telegraph, all of these coming out with updates, live updates that have been pouring in with what's taking place right now. As they're saying, this could be it. We could be seeing this intensify. Now, I'll let you know as soon as we hear when this major attack's coming. Iran is saying it's coming, that there is a major attack. Biden's saying today it's going to be sooner rather than later. And Biden's saying his words to Iran, don't. And it's because we will defend Israel. The United States will be by the side of Israel uh, if it pops off. So we will see you guys. Now, I'll keep you up to date on everything. Um, and, uh, oh, man, do me a favor. We've got almost 1,600 people in the room. Please hit the like button. If I could get 60 people to hit the like button, we can get over 1,000 likes. I would appreciate the support. And again, if this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not hit the subscribe button? I saw that there's several people on here that are members of the channel. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate the support a ton. Um, all you got to do is hit that join button. Not necessary, but when you do so, it just helps out. I appreciate that. And also pinned in the comments, as you guys know, a lot of people concerned about potential attacks coming. Resources available for you. We've got the newsletter at www.steveramnews.com, so that way you can stay connected in case communications go down. Also, if power grids go out, my team has put together a totally free PDF guide that gets emailed to you. You can go ahead and get a free update as to what you need to do for your power grids. And also, for those of you that depend on medical kits and supplies or medicines, if you have a loved one that needs it and you're concerned about pharmacies going down, like we saw with the most recent cyber attack, We've got additional medical kits that you can order. We've got teams in all 50 states, uh, I believe. I, I, last time I heard it was 45, about to be 50. I've got uh, teams in each and every single state that can you can talk to your doctor, see if you can get that additional medical kit with various medications that you might need on hand. You'll have those extras ready if you need them. So we've got that. That is at lifesavervault.com. Um, that is in the description. There's links for you guys. Uh, Elvin Santiago, thank you so much for that $10 super chat. He says, thanks for the updates. You are so welcome. I'll keep you guys up to date on everything. 
Uh, let's see here. Joanne says, how much for the antibiotics? Uh, Joanne, if you go to the website, you can buy different kits. There's different ones. So like if you need something specific and it tallies it up for you and it is at a price um, because, you know, those are medications. They got to be prescribed. There's a whole process, but you can go ahead and submit your uh, request and then uh, somebody will reach out to you from the team. But it's a team of pharmacists and doctors that have done their due diligence to put these all together. Um, they're the best. Their team, the team is absolutely amazing. And I know a lot of people, we had pre-orders coming in. They should be reaching out to you if they haven't done so already. But I believe they're contacting people in all the states right now, making sure that people that want backup meds have got that set. Um, Anita Nelson says, do they sell generators? Great question. You know, I'm actually putting together a list right now for people, all the things to take into consideration. Um, <clears throat> man, my throat, it feels like it's going dry. You guys blessings to you and the family says Jane Doe. Thank you so much. And blessings to you as well. I appreciate the support, the prayers. Um, yeah. Uh, greetings. Earthling says, dude, you don't know Jack, get off of YouTube. <laughs> you know what? Greetings, Earthlings, Pluto. I agree with you 100%. I don't know, Jack. I don't share anything that comes from my brain. Everything that I do is cited and sourced information coming out from the news media. Uh, a lot of it you don't typically see. I also pull from foreign sources and I cite everything like a book report. So uh, if you don't trust me, if you don't agree with me, I agree with you. Don't trust me. Don't trust anybody. Do your own research. All I do, I'm just a guy on YouTube that puts together information and I report it like a book report. So people that, you know, uh, want to know what's going on, they can find all the information that I'm assembling and I just simply share it. That's all I do. So I actually agree with you. Don't trust anybody, I, especially the world that we live in today. Make sure that you do your due diligence on everything. That's all I do is I just share with you the latest news. You can do with it what you want. You can choose to take actions as a result, or you can choose to do nothing with it. I'm just simply vocalizing what I see here on my channel for those that are interested. Uh, thank you, Steve, for all that you do, says Chrissy. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your content. Hit that like button, says Anita Nelson. Thank you for the support, Anita. I appreciate that a ton. Uh, Donna Kid says, awesome comeback, Steve. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, if you don't like Steve, don't let the door hit you on the way out, says Cody O. Don't let the critics get you down, Steve, says Jay Gabalos. Thank you guys for the support. Appreciated a ton. Thank you, Steve. We appreciate you, says Badger Girl of God. Thank you, Steve, says Wendy Compton. Uh, let's see here. Um, somebody says, unfortunately, Iran shot it off. Yeah, it's, it's going to go down here very soon, we're hearing. And like I said, I will keep you guys up to date every step of the way. But you guys, that is the latest. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Hit that like button if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe to stay up to date. It's totally free. And again, resources available for you down in the description. But I'm going to hop off, grab some water. And if anything happens, I will hop on and I'll let you guys know. Thank you for the support. Love and appreciate you guys. Have a blessed evening. This is Steve.